Now let's open up some uh, ANOVA data. So we have statistical data sitting out here. So from a manufacturing standpoint, you know, if I make a, a paper bag, I want to know what hardwood concentration results in the best bag in terms of bursting strength in pounds per square inch. In healthcare, I believe these are four different kinds of blood thinners, and so we want to know what the calcium and solution is. I want to know if they, they behave differently. All we have to do is select the data in the QI macros, click on the QI macros menu. We could come over and choose ANOVA, single factor, and that will go out and actually do an analysis. It'll prompt us for our alpha value there. And then what we're going to get is, come on, shrink down, you can do it. We'll get a p-value less than zero that says, yes, indeed, the means of all four of these, of these four things are different in some way. And if you look at them here, you can see, yeah, 10, 16, 17, 21. But maybe we want to know from a bursting strength uh, standpoint, our customer wants us to be at least 15 pounds bursting strength. Maybe 10 and 15 will, will do the job. Well, we could come back in here, take that data, and say, all right, I'm going to take that. And what I want in my statistics is I want a t-test. And I'm going to assume that they have unequal variances, let's say. And so it would go out and do a t-test for us. And this basically says that the two, two means are the same. And so consequently, that says if 10% is cheaper, hardwood concentration, why not go do it? So that's pretty straightforward. Now, what I did find is a lot of people have no idea what statistical tool to use. So if you do, go grab it, all right? But then I also realized recently, just like the control chart wizard, I could look at your data and probably guess what kind of statistics I had to run on that data. So I invented a statistics wizard. And this is a fairly recent addition, so if you don't have it on yours, um, you know, we offer upgrades and, and annual maintenance plans and things like that. But anyway, so this will go out and look at that and say, oh, that must be an ANOVA single factor. And then it'll look at the, it'll take that and say, well, I need to do a Levine's test to determine if the uh, uh, variances are the same. And it'll come in and say, well, the variances are the same, but the means are different. And so basically, you know, I found that a lot of people don't understand what except the null hypothesis means. And so I've kind of, I've kind of gotten away from, from that. I'm trying to put common language in here so that we can get to it. So that says that we have variability is the same, but the means are different. So that means that our two uh, our, our, uh, different uh, blood thinners up here actually provide a different average calcium in solution. So this is a way to start to do analysis. And the QI macros will try and help you with that. I don't guarantee they'll always get the right answer, but they will, they'll go forward and do stuff. And we have lots of examples in here, so we have... Uh, various kinds of case studies in here. For those of you in healthcare, uh, door to bloom time, less than 90 minutes versus mortality. You know, we could take something like that and say, I want to do a, a regression analysis on that. And so if I do that, I could come down here and choose regression. And it'll come out and do the analysis. And I'll say, uh, yeah, there's a good fit between more, uh, door to balloon time, less than 90 minutes, and mortality. So that probably says we want to we want to get uh, everybody in the door as quickly as possible. We could take that same data and we could draw a scatter plot of it. That would show us, you know, uh, mortality goes down as the percentage of patients getting door to balloon time in 90 minutes uh, goes up. Well, gee, you know, that means we, we got a good solution here. All we have to do is figure out how to get the door to balloon time under 90 minutes. So these are the kinds of analyses that we can do quickly in the QI macros. And again, I encourage you, if you don't know what to use, use the stat wizard. It'll take a run at it. I don't guarantee it'll always be right, but it'll give you some starting points and some direction. So that's all these various tools that are out here. We have non-parametric tests that you can fill in the blanks on. 
Uh, we have a sample size calculator and um, lots of tools out there for you. If you go under the QI Macros help on either one of these two tools, you'll find that we have, you can sign up for our email training online. Uh, you can get into our help files. If you click on the QI Macros help, that'll bring up our help file with all the information in it. So if you need to know more about ANOVA tools and you need to know something more about an F-test, uh, then it'll bring up that information. So that's our help file out there. I encourage you to go look at that when you're kind of stuck. Uh, 